<laughs> it's the small film getting big buzz and rave reviews and has already taken home a couple of the most prestigious honors at the Sundance Film Festival. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl tells the story of Greg, a teenage boy whose mother insists he spend time with a classmate who's been diagnosed with cancer. Take a look. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, Gregory, that you do not have a second. choice in this particular Mom, matter. Please, because you have been given an opportunity. Oh my God! Please to make just a let me say one real thing. Difference thing. In someone's Mom. life, and if Jeez. what you're choosing instead of that is to lie around you know, the house all day like a dead me. slug, then I will be we're required to step in Mom, we're not and even inform friends. you that that is 100 oh percent unacceptable. You're nonstop that. Wow! I lo when I saw that scene, I said, "That's just like our house." <laughs> and with us are the film stars Connie Britton, Olivia Cook, Thomas Mann, and R.J. Tyler, and congratulations <laughs> on a really spectacular film, you guys. I Thank you. you. I love how Connie got involved in this whole thing. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be, I'm so happy that I get to brag about this movie because my part in it is so tiny. It's yeah. these guys and the amazing you guys director the and the whole amazing, movie. Ri ma amazing writer. Yeah. I just get to cheer. I'm you a cheerleader. You want to be a part of it before you even knew what it was, right? Right, what well, I, I I knew Alfonso Gomez Rion, who's the director from American Horror Story. He had directed several episodes and I just thought he was amazing. Yeah. And I found out he was directing a movie. I didn't even know what the movie was. And I just wrote him an email and I said, Alfonso, if you're doing a movie, will. will you please put me in it? I don't care how big the part is. I just want to work with you. And so, and this was a movie. And wow. It, how lucky was I? Wow. And you, the two of you, Olivia yeah. and Tom, you had, a little of experience uh, under your belt, quite a bit actually. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Years. RJ was the newcomer. I was the baby. Yeah. <laughs> and you give, you all give spectacular, real performances. I mean, you, you don't catch any of you acting at all. Was it scripted completely? Was some of it improvised? It all, was, it's it's scripted. all scripted. Yeah. I mean, the writing is such a rhythm to it. It was really easy. You don't want to like add anything. Yeah. 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 And the yeah. chemistry between you two was so palpable. Like from the beginning, you you felt it. Had you guys known each other before? Was there any history? We'd been auditioning together for like six months. So yeah. by the time we did start shooting, we were already really, really good friends. It's something you can't really fall. Where's your accent? Ireland? Manchester, north of England. Manchester. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Close. It's part of the UK. You know, was it hard to kind of put that away? And when I first started doing an American accent, it was really hard. The first two episodes of a TV show that I'm on was my first American accent, and it's awful. It's terrible. But <laughs> now, now it's more. You get the hang of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it was no, flawless in the movie. It was oh, yeah. amazing. We, amazing. It, People will talk, of course, about the relationship with you, all, the two of you, but but there's also a, a great relationship between your characters, Tom and, and RJ. Yeah. You guys don't call yourself friends and explain why. No, well, Greg is very, uh, you know, he keeps everyone at arm's length to protect yeah. his own feelings. You know, he's sort of an outcast by design, and uh, so he refers and has referred to Earl as his coworker since they were in kindergarten. Co and they make, they make films together. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. they're, they're teenage filmmakers, and they make homages to classic films, sometimes foreign films, more like obscure a things. Orange. A sock orange. The four hundred bros. Wow. Yeah. A box of lips. Wow. Yeah. A lot. Of, yeah. A lot of people are inevitably going to make comparisons to A Fault in Our Stars because that, that was another kind of pulled at your heartstrings. Do you about guys, teenagers. Yeah, about teenagers and going through an illness. Do you guys see the similarities uh, in the films? No. I don't know. No. 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 To me, one of the biggest things is, and I'm just going to go oh, right yeah. in here. Yeah. But uh, you know. The, People keep talking about it, and it is based on a YA, I didn't know what YA was, a YA young, book young by adult, the yeah. amazing Jesse Andrews. But the thing is, this this movie is so accessible to everyone. Yeah. It's yeah. really just, it's a human movie, and mm -hmm. it's it's about um, love and how we take care of each other friendship. and mm -hmm. life and death and mm -hmm. friendship and family, and it's, it's really for everybody. Connie, I saw you. Were you on Fallon doing a hula hoop? Uh, it wasn't Where Fallon. Where was it? It Seth? was, um, it was um, James Corden. James Corden. James Corden. I didn't we know love you him. had that I in you. I love that guy. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Wait, he is oh so much gosh, fun. I love him. I have a question. Who's the better hula hooper? You, Connie, uh -oh. or you, Kathy oh, Lee? Oh, oh, I think I it's probably RJ. <laughs> <laughs> probably right. We're going to do a hoop off because oh. I put, my money's on Kat. No, I've seen no. her shake her. Oh, oh, oh these oh, are not oh, the oh, right kind. Oh, okay. Okay. You got, oh, Connie, no, no, Connie, no you feel, feel the difference? Don't it does no lead in it. Kind. These are not yeah, the kind. Go. Go. These are not going to work. Are we going to work? Get ready? Go. You're too close to the chair. It. Uh, <laughs> if I can, I doubt that this Come is going to be pretty. Oh. Go, go, go. Oh, go. yeah. Go. Oh. Uh oh. Where's the 
What this has to do with the movie, none of us know. What? Me and Earl and the Dying Girl hit select theaters, you guys, it's really on Friday. Up. Such so an great to see. Movie. Okay, Enjoy you guys, it. all the best. And for years. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.